While so many are struggling with employment right now, there's one sector that is going strong, cleaning businesses. News 5's Katie Blaze speaking with a local company on how the virus is impacting them, and she has some tips on how to keep your home germ-free. Wendy Flynn, owner of Clean Clean LLC, tells me while some people have canceled their weekly service, there's another kind of customer who's asking for more cleanings. We've been running a normal schedule up until this week. Like almost everything else in our daily lives, cleaning businesses are also feeling some changes due to the coronavirus pandemic. This week we had 15 scheduled and only four um, have chosen to continue with our service this week. Wendy Flynn tells me some of those cancellations were older people who are more at risk. The rest of the clients were like, you know, let's just take a little bit of time and see where this goes. And, um, you know, we'll touch base next week to see if we can start back up. In the meantime, she and her team are still keeping busy. I do have commercial buildings also. So they have actually vamped up um, our service and have asked us to come during the day um, to do an extra touch up throughout the buildings. So I still have plenty of business and hours for my employees. For those who are choosing to clean their own homes right now to avoid contact with people, Flynn has some simple tips for you. Tackle what she says are the most important parts of your home the kitchen and bathrooms. Grab an all-purpose cleaner, dish soap, or a similar type of sanitizing product and wear gloves if you're able to. Spray a little bit on a cloth. Wipe off your handles on your refrigerator, your, your cabinet handles, your coffee pots. I'm wiping doorknobs often, remotes for the TVs. If you have a landline, your, the back of your phone or even your iPhone. Toilet handle. There's a lot more that you just don't realize that you touch um, in your homes um, that could use a wipe down. Simple yet huge steps she encourages everyone to take to protect you and your loved ones. And we know a lot of families are at home right now, some of them struggling to think of things to do. While well, Flynn suggests make a game out of cleaning, sit down together and make a list of all the things you touch around your home each and every day and work together to give them a good wipe down and cleaning. Flynn suggests doing this a couple times a week, but daily is always best. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Katie Blaze, News 5.